The content you consume affects you, so it really matters what you choose to watch and listen to. Now you might be thinking, what are you talking about? Whatever I consume just goes out the other ear because I'm consuming so much content anyways. To that I say, when you're taking a shower or brushing your teeth or trying to fall asleep, Notice what thoughts are swirling around in your head. I bet some of the stuff that will be popping up in your head will be content that you consumed earlier. Yesterday, I spent some quality time with my mom, and by quality time, I mean sitting on the couch and watching TV together. And yesterday, she turned on Bill Maher, so we were watching Bill Maher, and on the show, if you don't know Bill Maher, it's a political show, so they were talking about what's going on now, and some of the stuff they were saying was about the Israeli-Palestinian protest going on on university campuses. After watching that for quite a while and I was reflecting, I realized I really don't want to consume content like that. And you might ask, Paul, what's the big deal? To that, I say focus equals feeling. Whatever you focus on, you're gonna feel. That's from Tony Robbins. And if you consume content that is negative like that, at some point or another, you're gonna be focusing on it, whether it's just in the moment or even later when you're ruminating about it. And what kind of feelings do you think you'll feel when you're thinking about protesters clashing with the police or any murders or tragedies or wars going on in your city or the rest of the world? So if you're your priority is to feel good, then this goes totally against that. This will not make you feel good. And the second reason it's so important to me is that it's not only not getting me closer to my goals of becoming a YouTuber, striving to get 1% better every day, it's getting in the way of my goals. I'm not a political commentator. I don't want to make content like that. That's not my interest. That's not my jam. That's not my juice. Nor am I a YouTuber commentator like Penguin Zero who talks about internet drama, needs great at doing that. But I don't want to make that part of my repertoire, just talking about drama of other people. So I have to be super careful about the type of content I consume. You might have heard the phrase, your body is a temple. You are what you eat. And that is true because whatever you eat ends up affecting your body chemistry and also your brain. So it affects how you even feel physically and mentally. And to add on to that, I would say you are what you consume. I mean, don't you want to consume something that nourishes your mind and soul? Like for example, I keep coming back to this book, The Tao Te Ching, and I'll just read you just a couple sentences from this book. Having without possessing, acting with no expectations, leading and not trying to control. This is the supreme virtue. God, that is so good. Acting without expectations. It's hard to do, but if you act without expectations, you never get disappointed. You never get disappointed and your soul will never grow old. Every morning and every evening and whenever anything happens to you, keep on saying, thanks for everything. I have no complaint whatsoever. A lesson of gratitude in the face of things that are good and even in the face that, of things that are bad. Damn, this book is so good. I really should be reading it every day. I just pick it up once in a while, but. And Essentialism, this book here. The main question to ask yourself from this book that I got was, what is essential? Eliminate everything else. And I would say consuming negative news, and I would say 99% of news is negative. That is not essential to me. So I wanna eliminate it. Now, if you actually like consuming negative news and other YouTube or internet drama, anything like that, I would say have at it, that's your choice. But if you want to consume content that nourishes your mind and soul, I would say cut all the negativity out and consume only those that nourish you. It's time for me to get super picky about what I let into my ears and eyes. I will see you in two days. 1% better every day, baby. Hello, Luna. This is my sister's cat going to the vet for her rabies shot. Luna. Luna's done at the vet, naughty and feisty. <laughs>